tackle so well there in the first half. What did they do differently defensively in the second half where you guys kind of st stalled out for a while? Uh, it was nothing that they did differently. It was us uh, getting a little complacent and uh, not having the same intensity we had in the first few drives, which uh, resulted in not scoring. Casey, is this as comfortable and normal feeling as you felt throwing the ball in a while today? Uh, for the most part, uh, there were still a lot of things that uh, I did that that I feel in a way cost us the game. But uh, if you, uh, each of us can only do so much, and we all we all made mistakes today. Uh, nobody was perfect, but uh, yeah. Casey, this team needs or needed to seize every opportunity in order to make a bowl game. How do you? How does that, the team allow complacency to creep in if that's what it was there for a little while? Uh, I, I really can't answer that question because I don't know the answer. Uh, there, there's no telling what it could be. Uh, but it's something that, uh, that each of our players need to, need to look down deep inside themselves and uh, figure out whether they really love playing the game or not. And... Uh, whether they want to come back next week and uh, give the same intensity. Are you saying that some of that complacency manifests itself in like penalties or uh, running the wrong route or something like that, or uh, you just not having um, the in kind of intensity that you'd like to see? Um, it it's it may be possibly that uh, we scored more points that quickly than we have in a while. And so people were just, they were happy about it and mm -hmm. didn't want to do more to get, to go above and beyond to, uh, to score more points. That was probably the best game that the receiving unit has played, at least the first half. People, they were making catches behind their back and, and, uh, and you were pretty sharp. Do you feel that way that the offense, I mean, I know you rather, we, we would like to have played better in the second half, but for a half there, was that the best that you've seen? The offense. Uh, it, they had a really good day. Uh, the receivers did. Um, the, I, I feel throughout the week uh, they really uh, wrapped it around in their mind that they had to step. They had to step it up, whether it was blocking, catching, just running the right routes, whatever it was. And I feel like they they, they did a very good job with that. Okay. Jason, for once, you guys, the defense was playing with the lead. Uh, but it, I don't think you guys played your best game today defensively. Um, how, how did y'all react with uh, being a, a different position uh, than you usually have been, where your backs are against the wall and you're losing early? Um, first off, I just give credit for uh, West Virginia. But uh, it's another week we didn't finish. You know, I, I take a little fault at uh, my pass interference that I got when Chris Hackett got an interception. You know, that would have been a game changer. Um, but mainly, I just like I said, we didn't, we didn't find a way to finish it. Were you, were you surprised by that call? Because that really, you were away from the play. It really. I mean, yeah, I thought it wasn't catchable, but I mean, he kind of crossed my face. I grabbed him, so I take blame for that. Your coach says he felt like you guys gave this one away. Do you feel the same way? Oh yeah, of take course. On I mean, we fought back to get it in the overtime and then find a way to finish. I mean, it comes down to whoever wants it more. It looks like they wanted it more. You guys kept on giving the offense the ball back with interceptions, and uh, but then the offense kept on giving it right back. How demoralizing is that when you when you're not putting points on the board when you had the ball inside the five yard line? It, it hurts. I mean, we got an interception. Paul Dawson got down to about the two yard line and fumbled it right there. That would have been another game changer. Uh, a few interceptions, but I mean, when it comes down to it, we we got to do our parts, and we didn't finish on defensively. We lost as a team. So, I mean, it hurt. Aside from simply executing better, what has to change for this team going forward? Um, I mean, it's going to come down to more leadership in the locker room. Uh, you know, these last three games, we got two on the road, which are going to be tough. Uh, but then again, it's just going to come down just to finish. I mean, that's all, that's all we can do is finish. I hope we get to a bowl game. Is there not enough leadership on this team? I mean, we, we got enough, I feel, but I mean, it's always improvement, more, more, more room for improvement. And uh, like I said, man, we just we gotta finish. I mean, it hurts losing games like this. And so 
that's, that's just my main thing. I'm just trying to do my part and uh, find a way to help the team win. The energy and atmosphere on the sideline, is it different this year than any of the other years that you've been here? Uh, yeah. So, I mean, it's a little different, but, I mean, we got to work with what we have. How's it different? Uh, we had a few older guys last year. I mean, defensively, like Kenny Kane, you know, he's a real good captain, leader. And we don't really have that right now defensively on the defensive side and on offense. I mean, we just we just need more everything right now. Just try to find a way to win. You're one of those older guys. Do you, do you need to step up and be more vocal maybe? Yeah, of course. Uh, I'm always been trying to just lead by example. But I think some voices are going to have to be heard for these last few games, especially for my career. Yeah.